In parts of Harris and Montgomery County, the weather has been mild, mostly frigid and wet. Freezing rain followed by quick little bursts of snow and then sleet and rain again. Channel 2's Mario Diaz has been monitoring conditions all across our area. So Mario, did the weather around us impact roads closer to home as far as you saw it? See on the short answer there is yes. Uh, there's no doubt we saw some challenges present themselves, especially when this storm started to flex its muscle shortly after sunset in parts of Harris and Montgomery County. But those conditions quickly melted away. A pair of boots and a pair of gloves. We found Cold Vogel seconds after Cold making outside. a purchase, a fitting bad. fashion statement in response to what he was seeing north of the city. I was in Houston earlier today and it was about 40 and by the time we got back to Conroe it had dropped five or six degrees. Started, you know, with the ice a little while ago and I'm sure it's probably going to get chillier through the night. Shortly after sundown, pellets of sleet were bouncing all over this car lot in Conroe. A steady downpour that quickly dusted windshields while also blending into the grass. The speed limit says 30, try to drive 20. Alejandro Beltran was taking things easy after being taken aback with what his part of Texas was looking like tonight. It kind of surprises me to be honest. I don't really expect to see snow too much on this side, you know. Some 25 miles away in Tomball, the scene was much different later into the evening. No signs of sleet or snow. And with temps just above freezing, no ice on the asphalt. The roads have been good and I haven't seen too much traffic. We caught up with David as he was heading home from church. As you heard, not much traffic was visible. But what he and his wife Tori did see on their way to service was plenty of sleet. So I didn't expect that much snow, but um, I was actually surprised when it started sleeting outside and we were on our way to church, like you said, and I thought, was, is this crazy? Should we go back? And yeah, no doubt it was a quick, powerful spurt. I will tell you that when we were heading up to Conroe, we hit it there pretty hard, but then we were coming back just a few minutes later, and the rain was really washing it all out. But what we truly noticed was the amount of signage that we saw from TxDOT uh, on our way here to Tomball. We saw three signs on the roads, all making drivers aware to be on the lookout for ice. Live in Tomball, Mario Diaz, keep your seat. Channel 2 News. Mario, thank you.